there is a river called the Euphrates River, Jordan. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us, you'll find this hadith in Sahih Muslim, by the way, that the Euphrates River will be channeled into a different direction. So where there was water, will come dry. There won't be water flowing through there. Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. The river has been the lifeline for millions in Iraq and Syria for thousands of years. But now it has sunk to a historic low, sparking the region's worst water crisis in years. ...is only visible from a distance. The crops have been destroyed due to the lack of irrigation. Even worse, the farmer's family has been left without drinking water. Water levels in the river have hit record lows. Neighboring Iraq has also been affected. Both Iraq and Syria have been dry countries. Despite this, the current drought is unprecedented. Rainfall has declined by 70%. Environmentalists are calling it the region's worst water crisis in years. And as a result, a mountain of gold will be revealed. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned gold literally, Zahab. Jabal min Zahab. So lots of gold will be revealed. People of the world will fight each other over this. They'll go into battles over this, this gold. He said, don't come near the gold to his ummah, to us. Don't go near it. From every 100, one will live in this battle. And each person will say, because everyone will see this catastrophe. Every person will say, I'm going to be the one to live. I'm going to be the one to live and take my portion. Whether this sign is going to happen before the major signs start or whether they are going to happen within the time of the major signs is the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's going to happen with the Euphrates River, the sign of the ending of the world.